Hey, what's going on, you guys? Boys, Father Boom here with another mukbang video. What's going on? How are you? For shout outs, requests, and dedications, make sure to hit up on all the social media platforms. Uh, oh, sorry. That includes um, TikTok, which is our currently, I know, it's currently our most popular. If you've been watching our TikToks, thank you for all our all the love because we've been posting so many New York things. We're in New York City. New York City, Man um, I'm gonna move it a little bit. We're in Manhattan. We're in Manhattan. Right next to Times Square. Right next to Times Square. See? You see all the lights? Look at that. Fancy. So that's probably what we're gonna talk about in this particular video on what we've been doing. This is my wife's first time uh, that she's in New York. Do I keep hitting you? No. Okay. I mean, it is, but. Okay. There we go. But let's dig in, because yeah. I'm ready. Let's take a So we right. got. Jolly bean. Oh, yeah. You hold, you hold the spaghetti. Oh, let me get. With the chicken. Oh, wait. Should I? Oh, I can hold. I can hold this. Because I know how to name it. Well, Sorry, I'll guys. hold that. I'll hold that. I'll hold the chicken, too. Okay. Woo! All right. Okay. Let's dig in. Let's Sorry, guys. Let's the let's thing is. I'm going to start with this. I'm, I'm gonna, I've been wanting the spaghetti forever. Is it good? Ooh, it's, this tastes like um, pineapple. We also yeah, got I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be soda. We got mashed potatoes too and gravy, but I have cider. Cider? What is you that? You have cider. A side dish of um, gravy. Gravy, and I'm gonna take a chicken. Yeah. I gotta be careful so I don't drop it in the I'm gonna, AC unit. I'm gonna try that. Yeah, I'm gonna try. I thought you wanted to try. No, but you try that first, man. I'm Should try I try that. without the gravy first? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try without the gravy. Okay. Oh, it's good. Oh, it's spicy. You want that piece? Mmm. Want to try it? No, I want a new piece. With gravy. Thigh or? I like another leg. Yeah. Let me try with gravy. Be careful not to drop. Mm-hmm. Mmm. I gotta be extra careful because I got the AC unit vent right here underneath me. Does it go with the gravy? It will go with the gravy. Oh, now we have two <laughs> pieces mm -hmm. that we've. Oh no, can you take that off? Let me show them. Look at that glistening gravy. Mm. I go, right? So this is like that classic Jolly Bee spaghetti. They say it's sweet and it has cheese and it also has mm. hot dog. With what? the extra cheese in it. Oh yeah, somebody suggested to put extra cheese on it. And extra gravy. And extra gravy. Gravy or, or marinara sauce. Marinara sauce. Okay. Then put all of it just in case it's better with that. Okay. We have two spaghettis. <laughs> uh -huh. I dropped a piece in here. Okay. I need them. Let me try this. Fork. First time. How long have I been doing mukbangs? 2014. First mm -hmm. time. I've been seeing all you Asian motherfuck. No. All you um uh people of uh Asian descent said descent. Mainly from the West Coast eating this stuff. And I've been so jealous. And now I'm in Manhattan, and they have a little small dinky one with a limited menu. Mm -hmm. They didn't have the hot dogs. Like that, actual hot dogs. Here we go. Mm. Is it not good? You look like it's not good. It's banging. Oh. But it's not... It's like you're putting this in your mouth and you're like, it's about to taste some kind of way. Like a certain way. Way? What does it taste like before I try it? It's sweet. And it doesn't taste like spaghetti. It doesn't taste like marinara. It doesn't taste... Does it taste like ketchup? Did you put all the stuff, extra stuff in? Not yet. You gotta put the extra stuff in. You told me to get this extra stuff. It doesn't taste like spaghetti. It tastes like... 
Now this sounds horrible when I say this, and I mean it the best way. It tastes like upgraded, like really, really upgraded Chef Bardi. Very good. I think it tastes like um, a little bit like ketchup. Hmm. There's the hot dog. A little bit like ketchup. A little mm. bit. Oh, this is banging. This is super good. I'll be honest, it's good, but it didn't live up to the hype to me. Mm -mm. I love it. The hot dogs taste cheap, but in a good way. Mm. Some more sauce on mine. Hmm? You didn't put extra sauce on there? I just put the cheese. Oh, that's a little too much. No, it's not. I put half of it in mine. Adobo rice. The chicken was way better than to me than this. This is still good. It's I like not. that. Uh, you know what it also reminds me of? The way Southerners eat, um, specifically like African-American Southerners eat um, catfish with spaghetti. Am I supposed to eat the adobo rice straight up like this or no? Mm -hmm. That's good too. There's, there's, there's win wins all around right now. I'm loving this. Mashed taters and gravy. I can't tell too much. You're so country. Nobody says mashed taters, but country people. Mm. Okay. Yeah, I'm happy with, there's more gravy. This. There's not enough gravy here. Oh, that's really good. That it's tastes done. like, like. It tastes like, um, butter. Yeah. That's really good. Yeah, that's really, really good. But it needs more gravy. I'm gonna go with this thigh and get a thing of gravy to dip elation in. And I'm gonna do it the way I see folks do it. They break it apart. And then they dip. Alright, because that's how I learned from Hungry Cakes and others that do it this way. So I got a nice big old piece of thigh right here. I'm going for the second drumstick that we started of. By far, that's the best thing of this whole this whole thing. Mm. The chicken, by far. This is much. This chicken, the way it's seasoned, it's way better than Popeyes. Yeah, it is. I and I and a hey, I love Popeyes. Popeyes is words. the best fried chicken around. If you want fast food fried chicken, Popeyes is the way to go. Jalebi, what are y'all doing though? Are you afraid of these white rednecks <laughs> from the South? Open a Jollibee in Nashville. It's a blue city, man. You'll be all right. There's liberals. <laughs> Jollibee's only on the West Coast and then like sprinkled, I think in Texas maybe. And then one here in Manhattan. I've never two here in New York. Hmm? I think there's like two. I can look it up how many there's. It's so good. I thought that was going to be soda. We but also have a, a straight up pineapple juice. The peach mango pie. Oh, yeah. Oh, that is good. Can I have a gravy on it? Mm hmm. Let me dip it in gravy. Yeah. I was going to say put it on the side or something. Oh, it's so good with gravy. Give me a bite. You have to be really careful. Hold on. I'm coming. Mmm. That is pretty good. So, Evelina. Uh -huh. Born and raised in uh, Finland, huh? Mm-hmm. How did that turn out for you? 
Oh. What do you mean? How did it? And then <laughs> you made a chubby Mexican on YouTube. Mm -hmm. And you were all excited because oh, I'm going to go to the States and fall in love with him and marry him, right? I wonder where he lives. <laughs> Roll Tide. Hello, Come on down to Alabama. Thank God you're not. Every oh. European Valkyrie Viking queen has dreamt of coming down to Alabama and meeting their hubby. And don't get me wrong. There's good people in Alabama. But it doesn't have the best ring to it. Well, let me finish my question. Mm -hmm. Visiting New York for the first time. Because your boy hooked it up. Mm -hmm. Yep, I'm keeping it humble. Uh -huh. You got all of this because of me. Now, uh, how are you liking it? I love it. You love it? Mm -hmm. Not just like, oh, I love it, you know. No, like, I love it. Everybody loves New York, though. Yeah, but it's different for an immigrant. Why do you like it? Why is it different from other people getting excited about New York? Because it's real. Real dirty. <laughs> it's dirty, it's direct, it's... Um, you don't like that fake ass, hey, sweetheart. You don't like that fake Southern charm. Bless your heart. I don't know, but it's nicer. I think, um... The other night you said it best. It's it's so diverse here mm -hmm. that it, in the sense of you know where the culture here in the states is so like you're black, you're white, you're brown, and then people of color know their background, and then white people are like I'm American, but then you come to New York or or most places like I try to explain to her in the Northeast. <clears throat> And a lot, there's there's white folks here that know their background. There's white folks here that are immigrants, like her. Um, the first time we went to dinner, we went to a fancy dinner at King Steakhouse. If you've never been to King Steakhouse, it's one of the best steakhouses in I, it. In my opinion, it's one of the best ones. I know there's Peter Luger's and another a couple other places, but. By far, King Steakhouse is best. Anyways, if you're in Manhattan. If you're in Manhattan. Anyways, long story short, we were surrounded by all kinds of people. Middle Eastern people, uh, Latinos. Um, and then right next to us at our table, there was a Scandinavian couple from Sweden. Just mm -hmm. chatting it up. I've heard, I've heard so many languages here. Not just German, Russian, you know. Spanish. Spanish. I've heard so many like different different languages here. Um, we've had cab drivers that were Jamaican, Pakistani, Filipino. What was the, the latest one? I don't know where, where he was from, but his name is Aladdin. Um, yeah. And I love it. And everybody, and everybody was just normal. Everybody was just. Cool people suggesting where we should go eat, hang out. Everybody fits in. Everybody's fitting in. And and I feel like it's for cool. anybody that wants that American there's so there's so many negative things about this country and so many horrific things. And I'm not putting that to the side. Like I know living in the United States it's some real shit and it's a lot of horrific shit going on. Um New York is one of those beautiful things about being an American. I, I can say I can sit here and bitch and moan about so many things about this country that I can't stand, which is a lot. But New York is just one of those cities that is beautiful and it makes you you know, makes you proud to be an American. It makes you be like, wow, this is what it is, a melting pot. And, and here it's so normalized. It's not weird. Yeah. It's so normal. So I many people. people are we went to go see Phantom of the Opera, and there was like literally so many people. It wasn't just like, you know, some people are like, yeah, it's diverse here, but it's like, 
60, 70% white folks. And then like 10% this, 10% that. But no, it was like not one person. It was all kinds equally. It was great. I'm full. <clears throat> I'm not gonna lie. Being in the South for a good amount of years, you tend to forget that. You tend to forget. It twists your mind. And all you hear in, in even in Nashville, all you hear is English. Sometimes, on rare occasions, you hear other languages. Yeah. But you why gotta, in a city of Nashville that's supposed to be a tourist attraction too? It's mostly just white American tourists. Mm -hmm. Or groups of all white people. How did that happen? Here is groups of all kinds of people. Everybody. Everybody. So what did we do so far? We went... Phantom of the Opera. Phantom of the Opera, Keen Steakhouse. Mm -hmm. We got a bagel down the street, like, like an authentic Square. Jewish bagel. Um, we went to Times Square. We uh, we went to the Freedom Tower. But there's two um, Jollibees in New York only. What else did we do? Freedom Tower. Um, <sighs> The, where friends, world, friends, but oh, the, tell where them about the World Trade Center. Tell them, them about the, tell them about the Friends experience. Oh my God, it was the best thing ever. I love Friends. I posted so much on Instagram. I'm sure whoever follows me there has seen it. But um, it was like different rooms built exactly to the set of French filming set. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What was your favorite picture that you took of the, the set? Mm. I was sitting on the couch with my thunder thighs. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's the best, you know, view of everything. Yeah, it was. <laughs> <laughs> like the, the apartment. This I got to hold that couch with Chandler and, and, and um, Ross. Mm -hmm. We're a uh, pivot. Pivot. I got to take a picture of that. Um, what else did I do? Um, you sat in Joey's armchair? Yeah. This is all on Instagram, by the way. If you want to check it out, it's all on Instagram. We have everything on there. Um, I'm just, you know, I, I've lived here before and I'm having a good time here. Um, New York, this trip was really mainly about you. We um, eat the peach pies before. I I really wanted to. S I'm literally not. I'm I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. I love New York, but I'm not excited for it like she is. I'm excited more so about just watching her watch New York. We went to Ground Zero. Did you say that? Yeah. Oh, good. It was really Ooh. emotional for him. Huh? Ground Zero. Was yeah, really yeah, emotional. yeah. I don't want to talk about that. Mango peach pie. Oh my god. It's a little too sweet for me. Well, thank you. <laughs> I'm so good. So, surprisingly, my least favorite thing was the spaghetti. Jollibee. I like the rice a lot and the mashed potatoes. Jollibee. Please open up one in Nashville. Please. They will buy it. Will they? No. We tried to see if there was an in and out in New York, but there's no. No. That's sad. I'm so full. Why do I keep eating? There's Shake Shacks everywhere, though. Your favorite. Oh, I hate Shake Shack. Where else did we eat? <clears throat> oh, did you guys see that TikTok of her eating New York pizza for the first time? Oh, yeah. How good was that? Carne Carnegie? Carnegie? Carnegie Pizza. It's a touristy spot. But that little basic touristy spot of pizza was like 10 times better than any pizza spot. Like, that's what's great about New York. You go to a shit pizza place mm -hmm. and it's something? still better. Well, you, but you got 10 seconds. Um, yeah, but you were going to drag on. I was going to say we keep playing around with the thought of moving here because um, we could, with the rent we pay, we could move here too. Anyway. Well, our job. Thanks for coming in there's here. There's an opening, so maybe. Thumbs up the video, ladies and gentlemen. All right, bye.